Hi planner friends, it's Kasha Plannerista 101. Today we are planning in my Modern Peach Classic Size Happy Planner for the week of February 10th through February 16th. It is the Valentine's week, so I am super excited to whip out my Teresa Collins box and use that and kind of promote self-appreciation and self-love and just security i guess so that's kind of what i'm doing with this spread i'm just gonna white out some lines because i already pre-cut some of the tissue paper that came with the box i'm gonna do the same thing on the other side where the rest of the paper will go and it looks like I ran out of my whiteout tape or correction tape so I took out my white Sakura jelly roll and I'm just erasing all of the lines that would be kind of in a way of um, the tissue paper and peeking through from underneath so I'm just diminishing them to make sure they don't stand out as they do right now. So as you can already tell, there'll be one of the boxes on the top and one of them on the lower bottom. I'm gonna use my Zig glue, which is a precision application glue. And this way I can control the glue, how it looks and where it goes. And it's kind of neat that when it starts, it actually looks blue. And when it dries, it dries completely clear. So this way you can see where you're applying. But you can still have full control over it. So I'm just trimming edges. And I'm going to start applying the glue the minute I position my tissue paper. And I'm going to move this out a little because I want that edge to be straight. So then I could just cut it from the paper. So I'm just making boxes and making sure that every single corner of the tissue paper will be glued down. And let me just tell you guys, you need to be so careful applying this. Um, the tissue paper is so fragile, I actually ruined it just with like a little um, microfiber thing that I was patting it down with. So yeah, it's not the most tough material. So just if you do the same thing and you take inspiration from me, um, as I took from other people, I think so many people were doing different thing with and different things with this. And I did see somebody use this for boxes. I just I'm gonna cover a big chunk of my planner instead. So I'm just doing the same thing. And if you're gentle enough, like with this one, even though we're rolled under. I'll take my tweezers and pull it up and straighten it and it will work but like the other one I actually ripped it so that one not repairable but the quote just still works so because the quote still works I just left it be and now it's time for some checklists and I'm using my checklist stencil as well and it seems that the squares and the circles do actually match up, which is nice because I'll be able to do some lines for myself and be able to write on them straight. I do have um, an annoyance whenever my writing is crooked and I already, when I write, tilt my planner as it is. There's something just that I need to do in order to even write remotely straight, I need to tilt it. And I've seen so many people have the same issues, so I'm just not sure if it's just 
something with our brains or whether we're not balanced, I'm not sure. However, that's the necessary evil that I need to do. So it's very hard to film whenever I have a tilted planner because then I have to figure out the position of the camera where it's not tilted for you guys. And even sometimes like with decorating like right now, I still told my planner, I'm not sure what it is about, but I unfortunately do do that. Okay, and now I'm going to take my um, fine point pen from Pentel and I'm just going to go ahead and make lines the moment I adjust. So it's going to be lines in every single day and that will become my to-do list. So as you notice, there's no to-do list on Sunday. I have decided to take that Sunday completely off and just enjoy myself and not do chores or finish up whatever it wasn't finished throughout the week from my big checklist each day. So... I will need boxes, focus boxes for every single day of the week for myself to put events that are happening, that are focus of the day. So I'm just looking through the book to figure out what I want to use. And as I do that, I come across the name of the week, I mean name of the each day stickers and I peel them and I kind of try to see how that would look on my spread and I love that I'm able to bring more of the peach because it's so subtle however for some reason these don't fit fit perfectly into a box I'm not sure why but they just don't they are kind of awkwardly long which I'm not sure why because this book is specifically made for um, the happy planner and the width of the boxes is perfect so I'm just not sure why that wouldn't match so I end up cutting quite a bit of the stickers off because I don't want them to be layered on top of each other because it's going to create a bulk as well it's gonna because the stickers underneath are also slippery it creates a opportunity for it to lift up even more so so i'm just cutting the edge of it and yes i have a weird thing where I keep my stickers on my hand until I transfer them onto a paper. Not sure how that started on or why I do that. I just I just do. I've done it for a long time where I stick stuff onto the back of my hand, even tape a lot of times I'll just stick it in the back of my hand till I need it. So as I'm working through the days of the week I'm cutting the excesses off. And bringing in the peach I think was a great idea. It just looks cohesive and beautiful. And that, that portion was kind of bare without any color. Not that this spread has any color period. It has peach and black and white. That's about it. But I think it will bring a special effect as well.
I'm not sure about you guys, um, but I actually plan pretty late at night. Well, not plan. I plan every single morning. I sit down with a cup of coffee and I figure out my day, whether it's at the office or at home. However, when it comes to decorating my planner, I do it at the most odd hours ever. I do it at like 2 a.m. or 1 a.m. I sit down, like the whole world seems so quiet, and I just go into my happy place and I decorate my whole, whole planner. It's such a amazing experience. If you have never done it, maybe don't do it because you might get hooked. It's just such a interesting solution to just having, I live by myself anyhow, um, and I enjoy living by myself. I do, I am in a relationship, but we have not moved in together or anything like that. And I do enjoy living by myself, but I also enjoy this guilty pleasure of being able to plan at, at hours of the night, like 1 a.m. or 2 a.m., like right now. If you do do that, though, and you're trying to film your planning, you probably should invest in some really good lights, because otherwise your videos will be quite dark. But again, the whole world is, or most of the world is sleeping, and you're just tucked away in your little corner of the house planning. I really do enjoy this notion of just having a sacred space where I sit and craft and create beautiful things for myself and now for you guys that I share with. So I'm just adding some florals to the middle of the spread and making sure that everything is looking cohesive and I'm gonna be just finishing up a few things here and there. I'm gonna remove some lines to place the flowers so they're not as visible. Again, I just don't want them to be as profound as they are underneath clear stickers. And I'm just finishing it up. And do you guys celebrate Valentine's Day? If you do, do you have traditions? If you have any great traditions that you would love to share, please leave me a message down below with a comment. And I'm sure um, all the others who are watching would also like to hear about different tra traditions for Valentine's Day. I think it's just such a fun thing to look at and just such a fun thing to do looking at other people's traditions in general for anything. It's just quite fun because you never know what you might like and you might want to adapt. So I'm looking for a Valentine's Day sticker to just commemorate that day since it doesn't say that anywhere. And I'm just adding boxes right now and a few more flowers and the spread will be done. I am so grateful for all of you guys who are subscribed to my channel and are watching my videos. And for those of you who are visiting, please consider subscribing to my channel. I would love to have you as part of my planning family. So if you enjoy my videos, hit that subscribe button and hit that bell so you know every single time I make a video. But for right now, I just appreciate you watching and I'll see you guys very, very soon. I hope you enjoyed this. Bye.